At first glance, this trade does look good for both teams. Reports suggested that James Harden was not liked in the Brooklyn locker room and he simply did not want to be there. And as for Ben Simmons, he had mental health issues while playing for Philly and because of that and other factors requested a trade. But when you really think about it, Brooklyn absolutely robbed Philadelphia. The Sixers in any type of Ben Simmons trade wanted multiple first round picks in return and ended up giving up a couple themselves. But not only that, you gave up your best three point shooter in Seth Curry, gave up Andre Drummond despite being at the bottom of the league in rebounding. And of course you let Ben Simmons enter a situation where his lack of shooting and efficiency in crunch time will be minimized. Ben Simmons' game flourishes best when he can facilitate and create for a team that not only has players that can put the ball in the hoop at an efficient rate, but can get it done behind the arc too. And what better situation to do that in than with Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Seth Curry, Patty Mills, and Joe Harris when he gets healthy. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Now let's look ahead to the future, though. Are we sure that a duo with James Harden and Joel Embiid is good enough to win a championship? Because right now the Sixers are not better than Milwaukee with the way Giannis is looking like both an MVP and Defensive Player of the Year candidate wouldn't be the first time he did that. Miami's among the top teams in the East with a starting lineup that could defensively shut down any team in the conference. And of course we have Brooklyn if and when Kyrie is able to play home games. And then Boston has the best defense in the league as of late as winners of nine of its last 10. And not to mention Chicago, a team that is also at the top of the East without being fully healthy. Philly made this move with the intention that they could win a championship this year, but they're not even a top three team in their conference, let alone the best team in their division. But the final thing I'll say about this though, James Harden is eligible for a $223 million extension that would, according to ESPN's Bobby Marks, have been making $62 million at age 38. And believe me when I say that alone makes me think that Brooklyn won this trade because Philly would be giving Harden the worst contract in NBA history.